Hello and welcome to the Stabila eCampus. Stabila is the specialist for high quality and reliable spirit levels made in Germany. In a short video series, my colleague Michael Hagen and I explain interesting facts about spirit levels, their components and features and what you should look out for when buying and using them. Michael, in the first video we talked about our locked vial installation system. In other words, how the vials are permanently installed with precision in our Stabila spirit levels. Mm -hmm. Today we want to talk, uh, take a closer look at the vials themselves. Yes, exactly. There are also some interesting things to tell. Mm -hmm. uh, the important thing is that you can read them easily. Exactly, and that's why the vial liquid must have a high contrast. Mm -hmm. Our Stabila quality vials have a liquid that is particularly easy to read with its fluorescent green. Mm -hmm. And this both in darker surroundings and in sunlight. Mm -hmm. Some manufacturers have vials in the shape of a barrel. Mm -hmm. um, with Stabila the vial is rectangular. Why mm -hmm. is that? We use this shape of the vial because we are convinced it causes fewer reflections. Mm -hmm. Fact is that you measure from different positions and mm. you look from different positions mm. on the vial itself. And depending on the lighting conditions, round curved vials tend to cause strong refractions, mm -hmm. which then make reading much more difficult. Mm -hmm. This is not the case here. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, equally important is the perfect surface finish. Mm -hmm. Our vial block is made of highly transparent and resistant acrylic glass, the surfaces of the outer sides are polished with great effort and high precision to avoid light reflections. Mm -hmm. And the inside is also milled out with high precision. Why is that so important? With this perfect milling we guarantee an undisturbed run of mm -hmm. the bubble inside of the vial. Mm -hmm. I see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, in contrast to many other spirit level manufacturers, mm -hmm. um, we do not just print the rings outside on the vial, mm -hmm. but we insert metal rings inside the vial. Why mm -hmm. is that? The technical term is avoidance of parallax formation. Mm -hmm. Simply explained, if you look at the speedometer from the side as a passenger in a car, you usually see a different speed than the driver. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I look from the side. Exactly. The distance between the speedometer needle and the speedometer scale causes a reading error if you don't look at it at the right angle. Mm -hmm. If we were to print the rings from the outside, the distance between the rings and the bubble would be even bigger mm. and that would increase the parallax error. Insane. <laughs> as a user, you don't even think about that. Yes, but we do. Okay. Um, what we are asked again and again, why doesn't the bubble touch the reading rings? This is really quite simple to explain. If the edges of the bubble were under the rings already, you would be no longer able to see where the bubble exactly is. Because the principle of the spirit level is that you can read off exactly whether the distance to the left mm -hmm. and the right of the bubble to the rings is the same. Mm -hmm. And the human eye is extremely good at recognizing millimeter mm -hmm. fractions of deviation. Okay. And it is also the case that the size of the bubble changes. Exactly. And this is where physics comes into play. Mm -hmm. Our fluid expands when heated and contracts when cold. Thus, mm -hmm. the bubble becomes smaller when warm and larger when cold. Mm -hmm. Imagine now the bubble already touching the rings mm -hmm. at a normal temperature. Then in the winter, mm -hmm. the bubble would be above the rings mm -hmm. and the spirit level would be unusable. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, temperature is a good keyword, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, we sell Stabila spirit levels in more than 80 countries. Uh, <laughs> uh, in Alaska, where it's very cold, uh, in Nevada, where it's very hot, or in Algeria. Yeah. Um, so, uh, these are really extreme temperature differences. Oh yes, and that's why one of the quality features of our Stabila spirit levels is their extremely high temperature range. Mm. We guarantee that you can measure from minus 20 to 50 degrees Celsius or minus 4 
to plus 122 degrees Fahrenheit wow. with our spirit levels. That's a huge temperature range, yeah. especially when it's summer. Mm -hmm. You also normally have a lot of sun. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about sunlight? Stabila wilds have a very high resistance to UV radiation. Of course, every wild will eventually fade if it is constantly exposed to high UV radiation. So it is better to store them in a bag mm -hmm. or a case after use. And we have very nice uh, carrying bags for spirit levels in our assortment, by Definitely. the way. Mm -hmm. Are there any other magical features of the vial. For sure. We talked before about the optimal run of the bubble in the vial itself. On the one hand, this has to do with the fact that the barrel is perfectly milled, what mm -hmm. we talked about, on mm -hmm. the inside, and the rings do not protrude. Mm -hmm. But it is also important that the vial liquid also allows the bubble to run unhindered. Mm -hmm. But it is still viscous enough that the bubble does not jump back and forth mm -hmm. too quickly. Mm -hmm. And then it is also important to ensure that the bubble does not split mm -hmm. when the level is shaken or gets stuck. All this can often be observed with cheap spirit levels on the market. <laughs> I already saw this, I just tried. Yeah, yeah but it doesn't split. Yeah. Okay. Unbelievable how much know how is in a vial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You wouldn't imagine that. Um, and that's why we here at Stabila got also the recipe for our vial liquid as closely and hidden as a well-known American soft drink manufacturer uh, got its recipe for a coffeinated drink. And the recipe is stored in a safe. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Company secret. Yes. <laughs> so, now we have talked a lot about the Stabila quality vials and mostly looked at this vial here, yes. the horizontal vial. Um, um, every spirit level has another vial, mm -hmm. most, most of them, or even two other vials, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the vertical vials. Yeah, exactly. Everything we said about the horizontal vial here in the middle is really the same at the vertical vial. Mm -hmm. So all we talked about applies to the vertical spirit level vials the same. They are, mm -hmm. as the name already says, for measuring vertically, mm -hmm. but the technology itself mm -hmm. is okay. really identical. Um, and if you value high application benefit, it is best to choose a spirit level uh, with two vertical vials. It's much more convenient, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I advise everyone to do this, especially with longer spirit levels. Then I can really measure comfortably from any position and I don't have to turn the spirit level mm -hmm. every time I want to read something mm -hmm. because the one vertical vial is somewhere up there and yeah. you are not able to read yeah. it. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. Perfect. With stability spirit levels, every measurement, whether horizontal or vertical, can be carried out reliably and precisely. Yeah. So, dear viewers, I hope we have once again been able to provide you with interesting information on the subject of spirit levels. On our Stabila official YouTube channel, you will find more interesting videos on the topic of measuring tools under the playlist eCampus. Why don't you take a look? Thank you and good luck in everything you tackle. <laughs>